Okay, guys. It is giveaway time. I'm going to show you a few of the necklaces to choose from. This one and the new earrings. This one's I got from Kathleen. So now they're in the drying. I love this one. It is so pretty. It look like that. How pretty it goes this dress. It is so pretty. But I'm giving it to you guys. And there's this one. This is more of like a purple. That's just a little pair of red earrings. And here's the yellow. That's what the earrings look like on that one. And it's like a little yellow cat eye. Get it turned around. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay. That's for those. These are the ones that I'm having. <laughs> I'm in here doing it today because my husband is not hunting. He's in the living room and it's just easier. If you guys can remember, like, how many days I'll keep it in order, so I'll be like, I'll be like, we'll call this one one. Well, I don't know how we do that because I got all the other ones I just showed you. So anyways, just describe it to me, and then we'll send back and forth messages. So, there's more out there. You guys can go back and look at another video, whoever the winner is. <coughs> okay, now. It must be a U.S. citizen. Um, I have a U.S. citizen mailing address. Over 18. Sub to my channel. Gotta leave messages or I won't know. And, um,. Don't just sub and unsub. I can tell by the girls that message all the times and the ones that just come on for... I can tell if you're just here for the drawing because then I just don't... If your name pops up, I just throw it away. But um, I don't care. People might think it's unfair, but it's the way it should be. It should be the people that are always here, not the people that just show up for drawings. I try to go back and watch people when they're drawings or whatever, but... I still go back, go back, because I enjoy their channel. And if I watched somebody's channel for the first time and it was a drawing, I'd probably never know I won if I didn't go back. If I don't like their channel, I don't go back, so if I won, I don't even know. So, it doesn't matter. Um, so anyways, who is the person today? Oh, here it is. Southern Bella, is that how you say it? Okay, here she is on the screen. I looked up her picture. You could use my beautiful closet over there. Can you see it up there? All right, let me see, tip it. My son put the TV in for me and I'm trying to show it on here and it's kind of hard. Love my makeup. Can you see her? I should put her on my phone. I see which way would I go with this. Boy, I'm a dick. You guys are dizzy. But anyways, there she is. She does um, makeup looks, which are really good because she's using the palette that we just got because I used it today after watching her channel. So I know she. I looked it up after I, I picked my winner. And um, this is our palette we just got in our boxy charm, right? Boxy charm, boxy charm. And I used it today too. And she did a whole tutorial on it, so you should watch it. And I use this face palette. It's one I've had for a while. And then I decided to put my daily makeup that I like to use in one of these little containers. I got at Walmart, three of them for $1.63 in clearance. So that way I kind of get it together. Like I took this permanent, what is it called, quick drying, whatever, and I mix this on top. And I use this. 
my bronzer. Um, this is my favorite thing to put on before my eyeshadow. It's from Ulta. And then I use this foundation. Lord, I couldn't even think for a second. And this is what the lady picked out for me at Walgreens for my under eye. And then this is the one I've been wearing. Mascara. And I found out about that from, um, let me turn this. Um, Bailey Zarian. Her, she, she uses this. And it's really cheap. So I got it on Amazon. I don't know. It was like four bucks. And I've liked it so far. Um, first time trying this this morning. So I tried to put that on first. After I washed my face. And the first time using this eye. And I usually use this. I've been using this one. But today I didn't use it because I used the other one. I'm trying to think whatever else is in here that I've used lately. Yes, I, and I got some little things in here I want to try again, like this palette right here. She make an eye look this little tiny one. I got two of them in here, two different colors. So I'm gonna try that. That looks like a quite ball. Um, I got my sponge in here that I use. My brushes I just put away. So, and I do have a list here of how I remember who won. You can win again. But I just, that way I know who's been winning and I try to keep addresses in some case I want to send friend mail later. But our winner again is Southern Belle. Check out her channel. I'll link it below. Um, she has 48 hours to contact me. I guess, I don't know if it's fair or not to go and tell them. But sometimes I just want to say, hey, come watch. You know, come watch. But she's been watching and commenting, so she'll probably see it. But this necklace right here is just so pretty. Isn't it? Dress up for home. My husband says, are we going to church? And I'm like, no, because I won't go back yet. Um, I'm doing YouTube today. And he started laughing. So he knows now. So I'll just like, I also come home from work and I'm like, what are you all dressed up for? Because I did a YouTube video. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway. Um. I have a, I did my Walmart yesterday, so I got a Walmart haul I'm going to put up today. I couldn't get them all on the same video. It was too long already. The one yesterday on the way home from Walmart, I was taking the back roads, and there was two deer, and I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, we see them around here, too. Usually it's too late and you hit your car, but um, knock on wood. It's um, deer hunt season, so they're going to start running. November 15th, that's when it'll get... I guess they run why they rot too, I guess, but when the guns start going off, the deer start running more. So that's the time I like to just stay home. That's two weeks. I mean, I'll go out on my days to go to the grocery store. And it's really weird. I had a dream yesterday. I don't know who, if it's for me or for somebody else, but it told me twice in different parts, because I dream all the time, different parts last night. It said three days, three days. And it just like popped up in writing in my dream. And I'm like, okay, I'm staying home till Wednesday. I don't know what the three days is about, but, and I don't know if it's just because I watched, um, my husband was watching, uh, where, um, my, my starting screensaver, my TV just went to screensaver, um, he's watching Trump because Trump was in a ski game. And, uh, just to see I don't know. what you all might say or what you are saying because the it voice really, right really means so much to me. So, um, I don't know if that's what caused the, the dream, but I don't know. It came up twice in my dream. Sometimes, you know, you see stuff and it just, you let it go. Some people don't even dream where they see it. But mine are really visual and I have, um, dreams sometimes that happen, like car accidents and stuff. So I try to pay attention. When I saw that twice last night, I'm like, oh, Okay. My grandma used to dream, my mom told me, and um, it's like she hadn't seen somebody for a long time and she dreamed about them. Usually it meant that they were going to pass away soon. So within a few weeks, somebody would pass away. It's usually in the family or somebody close to her. And my mom didn't tell me that until I was an adult because I've always had dreams about, like before the tsunami hit, two weeks before it hit, I had a dream about it. And then it happened 
and my niece was in a car accident and every time I came to a stop sign my girlfriend because we carpool with work she was my roommate at the time she said why do you keep waiting so long at a stop sign and I said because I had that dream that I pulled out nobody was coming I pulled out and they hit me <clears throat> so I kept doing that two weeks later my niece was in an accident she was on her way home from Muskegon and she stopped at a stop sign and it looked like nobody was coming because you know it was it was the light street lights around so it was like 11 o'clock and in the summertime and when she pulled out she hit somebody later on that person died but they didn't have their headlights on and supposedly they were back from coming back from like Detroit or something so he must have been tired while he was driving and didn't turn his lights on because it wouldn't look dark because of the street lights, so he wasn't paying attention or whatever. She ended up being on a tether and in jail for six months, and then she was on a tether for like a year. She finally got her license and stuff back because she's worked ever since, and it was she was only 18, and she did not see no headlights. And the two kids in the car were like 16 and 13, and they seen no headlights, and they told them that, but nobody listened. And there was a girl in jail at the same time that was drinking and driving and killed somebody, and she got nothing. First offense, she didn't get anything. But I think it was because there was money involved in that family. And of course we didn't have any. And so, so for the longest time she didn't want to drive anyway. Now she has her license back and she's driving again, but she doesn't like going long. She loves to work back. And I know what she does. Because it was an accident. And that's what happens. You get an accident and then you're in trouble for something that they did. So it's just scary. But anyways, I don't know what brought me bad dreams, I guess. So anyways, I pay attention to my dreams. I'm staying home. God bless everybody, and have an awesome Sunday. Bye, guys.